हेलो एंड वेलकम टू माइंड मैप प्रोग्राम टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज माइक्रो स्मॉल मीडियम एंटरप्राइजेस फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ एम एस एम ईज सिग्निफिकेंस फॉर इंडिया चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाई एम एस एम ईज गवर्नमेंट स्कीम्स रोल ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी एंड एम एस एम ईज एंड एक्सपोर्ट सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल मूविंग ऑन टू द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ द टॉपिक एम एस एम ईज और Micro, small, and medium enterprises are businesses that operate at a smaller scale than larger corporations. They have limited number of employees and a lower level of investment. MSMEs are an important part of the global economy as they contribute significantly to the employment generation, innovation, and economic growth. According to the Ministry of MSME Review 2022, India has more than six crore enterprises. The Micro, Small, and Medium Enterprises Development Act was notified in 2006. It aimed to address policy issues affecting MSMEs as well as the coverage and investment ceiling of the sector. Now let's discuss about the classification of MSMEs. Earlier, the MSMEs were classified separately based on manufacturing enterprises and service rendering enterprises. In 2020 the classification has been updated and combined for both as follows a micro enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery or equipment does not exceed 1 crore rupees and turnover does not exceed 5 crore rupees a small enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery or equipment does not exceed 10 crore rupees and turnover does not exceed 50 crore rupees and a medium enterprise where the investment in plant and machinery or equipment does not exceed 50 crore rupees and turnover does not exceed 250 crore rupees this notification came into effect from 1st july 2020 now significance for india msme sector has emerged as a highly vibrant and dynamic sector of the indian economy over the last 5 decades MSMEs play crucial role in providing large employment opportunities at comparatively lower capital cost than large industries. It also helps in industrialization of rural and backward areas, reducing regional imbalances, assuring more equitable distribution wealth. MSMEs are complementary to large industries as ancillary units. This sector contributes enormously to the socio-economic development of the country. Khadi is the proud legacy of our national freedom movement and the father of the nation. Khadi and village industries or KVI are two national heritages of India. One of the most significant aspects of KVI in Indian economy is that it creates employment at a very low per capita investment. The KVI sector not only serves the basic needs of processed goods of the vast rural sector of the country but also provides sustainable employment to rural artisans now let's discuss about the challenges faced by msmes lack of access to finance msmes often face difficulty in accessing formal sources of finance such as bank loans which limits their ability to invest next is inadequate infrastructure poor infrastructure including transportation electricity and telecommunications can limit the ability of msmes to expand regulatory compliance msmes often struggle to comply with complex and time consuming regulatory requirements which can increase the cost of doing business many msmes lack the resources to adopt and implement new technologies that could improve efficiency and competitiveness skilled labor shortage msmes often face difficulty in attracting and retaining skilled labor which can limit their ability to innovate and grow lack of market linkages msmes often struggle to find markets for their products and services particularly in the face of competition from larger firms and inefficient supply chains it can limit the ability of msmes to access raw materials and other inputs which can increase cost and limit growth Now moving on to government schemes Prime Minister of India launched key initiatives for the MSME sector in the Udyami Bharat program held on 30 June 2022 Prime Minister's Employment Generation Program or PM EGP is a credit linked subsidy scheme for micro enterprises in the non farm sector since its inception in 2008 more than 8.34 lakh enterprises have been set up generating an estimated employment of around 68 lakhs under credit guarantee scheme for micro and small enterprises collateral free 
loaned up to rupees 2 crores are provided to MSEs. Micro and small enterprises cluster development programs aims at enhancing the productivity and competitiveness of MSMEs. Public procurement policy for MSMEs ministry notified the public procurement policy in 2012. It mandates 25% annual procurement from MSMEs by central ministries departments or central public sector enterprises or CPSCs. It also includes procurement of 4% from MSEs owned by SCST and 3% from MSEs owned by women entrepreneurs. Now let's have a look at the role of technology. Technology has enabled MSMEs to digitize their operations, streamlining processes and reducing cost. The use of digital tools such as cloud computing and productivity apps has helped MSMEs increase their productivity by 20 to 30 percent. Technology-based lending platforms have emerged, which provide MSMEs with easy access to credit. Technology has enabled MSMEs to participate in e-commerce and digital marketplaces, expanding their reach beyond their local markets. The Indian government has introduced several schemes and programs to support technology adoption by MSMEs. For example, the Technology Upgradation Fund scheme provides financial support to MSMEs for upgrading their technology. The Digital India program aims to provide digital infrastructure and services to all citizens. including MSMEs MSME champion scheme has been formulated with three components namely MSME sustainable Z MSME competitive lean and MSME innovative incubation design IPR Now let's discuss about MSMEs and export the capability of the Indian MSME products to compete in international markets is reflected in its share of about 34% in national exports In view of this export promotion from the small scale sector has been accorded high priority in India's export promotion strategy. It includes simplification of procedures, incentives for higher production of exports, preferential treatments to MSMEs etc. Products of MSME exporters are displayed in international exhibitions free of cost under MSME DO umbrella abroad. and the adoption of digital tools by msmes has the potential to create up to 1.5 crore jobs in india by 2025 now it's time for the practice questions first of all note down the prelims based question consider the following statements about the micro small and medium enterprises or msmes one the msmes comprise a dynamic sector of the indian economy providing large employment opportunities Two MSMEs require low capital cost and help industrialization of backward regions. Three MSMEs contribute enormously to socio-economic development. How many of the above statements is or are correct? None, only one, only two, or all three? And now mains question: MSMEs sector is referred to as the growth engine of the Indian economy. In this context, discuss how it can be helpful in poverty eradication. Also state the challenges faced by MSMEs in India. So that's all for today. Stay tuned for the next episode. Thanks for watching.